This is a continuation update video for the remote start video. And if you remember, I could not figure out why I could not find the remote start settings. Um, you would think it would be under convenience. I don't really know exactly where it's supposed to be, but it was nowhere obvious. Uh, so I did a little bit of research and what we're gonna do here is we're going to find, so right now I've, I've got four scan on, ignition on the on position, but the car's not started. I've uh, turned on and connected my scanner and four scan, and then uh, we've gone into our IPC, which is instrument panel control module, and we're in the as built. I've already gone down and saved it as a backup. So if I mess this up, uh, this is the first time I'm doing this, so uh, we'll see if it even works. Okay, so I've been playing around with a bunch of different numbers, changing out that third digit on the second block. And this is what I've landed on, is the 00C0. Now, I've noticed that as you change that C, or that third digit, that's currently a C, it'll also change when you click right, it'll change the last two digits in the third block. Um, don't mess with those yourself, but sometimes, for whatever reason, it changes those blocks. Uh, you know, I'm not a real expert how all this works, but just change that th that third digit in the second block and then whatever else changes is fine but this is why it's important to do a good backup because if you accidentally mess something up uh, at the very least take a picture of what this blocks look like before you do it um, but i would do just a regular backup so in order doing that c it gives me you know when i go into first off it enables remote start and then climate control, it does heat AC and front defrost. And I can go in there and change them. I just want automatic. So that's, that's what I care about and the duration, which I'm going to change to 15 minutes since it's cold here in Alaska.